On this episode of That Producer Life, we will answer the question, what is it that I actually do? That's a good question. I would like to know as well. Okay, so I do actually know what I'm doing. I'm not oblivious to my actions or anything. Um, But I think I've never tried to label what it is that I do very well. And so uh, that's why I framed it in this way. Anyway, so this is that producer life. But I thought I would frame it in the context of things for which I am grateful. I haven't done that in a while. Maybe you remember my video on gratitude. Lessons in gratitude from a couple years ago, I believe it was. And uh, that one video, I explored things for which I am grateful. And just the idea of making a list of things for which you're thankful and writing them down as a record. So here, welcome to my messy studio. So I make videos, no surprise. And uh, I made a little bit more last year than normal. Not all of them on this channel, however. As some of you know, I also manage my church's YouTube channel. And we have recently got into live streaming, which makes things so much easier. No putting in slides one at a time. You know, everything is just baked into the video file. Chop out the end, chop out the beginning. Or reverse of that. And, uh, and there you have it. I'm thankful that in 2020 I was able to continue working even though it was hard with all the uh, regulations and stuff. I'm thankful to still have work. I released one song last year, two songs actually. The first among them was actually, actually I don't remember which one is first, but uh, future me will will, uh, go back and, and see which one is first. Yes, future Jaron here, you say was released first and filmed second. I did a cover of You Say by Lauren Daigle, piano solo. And I also did a hymn arrangement of Stand Up For Jesus with my friend Dominique. If you haven't seen that, uh, links will appear somewhere above, below, to the side. But I think the thing I'm most grateful for is getting married in 2020, in the middle of a pandemic. In fact, we have a pin, which we'll we'll show at some point, that that, that says I got married during a pandemic. And so that was, that was, uh, so good I don't have a word for it right now. And then I'm also grateful that my first project in this space was my best friend from growing up, a uh, version of the Portal song, which was actually his wedding toast for another friend. It was really interesting. But I'm glad that that got to be done here. And uh, so that was fun. Also, in 2020, I experimented with using Adobe Rush and I had a privilege of being to the ocean and I put together a video mostly edited in Premiere Rush and then I pulled it over to Premiere and then just uh, played in some music and released it. Also, I mentioned live streaming weekly. I've done a few of my own and like I say, a lot for my church every week. And I got my hands on the Black Magic Design ATEM Mini, which uh, I don't have it here, unfortunately. I do have the box. If you don't know what this looks like, highly, highly recommend four HDMI inputs. And this is the the uh, um, the Mini Pro ISO. So it can, as depicted here, record uh, directly from this, this. It's a video switcher. It can record directly to a small hard drive. And uh, I got a small hard drive. I haven't done that yet because it's plugged into a computer and relatively inexpensive for the functionality that you get with it. So highly, highly, highly recommend that. It's been fun playing with that. Right now, I am about to work on another sermon-related project, which involves thumbnails and... Uh,
Another thing I'm checking out right now is these sort of extenders as HDMI on one side and Ethernet on the other. Simply because running really long HDMI cables as we need to, to work with our, our switcher. Um, running really long HDMI, HDMI cables run, runs the... How many times am I going to say run? Long lengths of HDMI cable tend to have signal degradation over time, depending on how long you have it. You can have a... There's some cables have a... Uh, especially made there's like a booster i've done up to i think 100 feet with no problems but i kind of need to do 200 feet and so i'm experimenting and so far so far so good these are upside down and i got them from amazon there's the uh, transmitter one which is this one and then there's a receiver over there tested it out on my tv works great now we have to see how it works with the atem mini um but I'm, I'm very hopeful that it will actually work and then we can go back to using our projector so anyway uh kind of random few things that i'm doing right now what i'm th thankful for in the past catching you up with where we are right now yeah sort of <laughs> Anyway, I don't want this to go on too long. Thank you for joining me, and we'll see you all in another video.